Thank you to Astapro for sponsoring this video. It's a nasal allergy spray that I've been a loyal customer to for quite some time now. Tell you more about them in just a little bit, Reject Nation. Citizens of the Reject Nation, we are back. Sorry, I had to do it. It's been a minute since you've heard my incredible Adam Sandler impersonation. It's John. It's Aaron Alexander. We're here to watch Billy Madison for the first time. Aaron, how you feeling today? Oh, I'm feeling so good, John. I, this is my impression of Adam Sandler meets the Affleck guy. Excellent. And then we'll start watching some Gilbert Gottfried movies next. That's Le his name. <laughs> Leave a like uh, for the man Sandler. He's out here. Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when the next Adam Sandler movie reaction comes your way. There's so many we haven't seen and probably like a billion more to come. Also, thanks to Prepper for chopping down these reaction highlight reels. It is a task and we appreciate their help on it greatly. Also, if you guys want to get the full and complete Billy Madison experience, see everything that doesn't make these reaction highlights, come on over to Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Real Rejects. Grab your own copy of the film, sync up alongside us, and enjoy everything this film has to offer, as well as all the other shows and films Greg and I have streaming over there with reaction highlights and sync up watch alongs included. Uh, Teas like these are available at rejectnationshop.com. More on them later on, uh, us, whoever. Anyway, Got anything you want to let the people know before we d billy it up? I don't even know what this movie's about at all. I haven't the slightest clue. <laughs> I just know his I'm, name. I'm ready to, to billy on with some Madisons. Ready to billy our Madisons. Let's do this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is... This is very lively for uh, Universal. <laughs> you can actually kind of see the camera shake on that. Oh, Tamara Davis directed this. What? Who that? She's done a lot of comedies. Oh, God, and I'm going to blank on him now, but... <laughs> me, you protect Did she do Fast Times? <laughs> Half-Baked, maybe? I've seen that one either. Ultraviolet rays, bad. Lotion, good. Uh, what are we dealing That's with? That's what I'm talking about. That's how you do hey. it. That's how you protect yourself from the sun. Dude. Nips first. You and, you and Forrest Gump, who did it first? <laughs> There's something important I was supposed to do today. Have five daiquiris? <laughs> uh, you remember to do that. <laughs> Is that Norm MacDonald? I was just going to say. That voice, yeah. Jared Ferguson. It's a funny name. Looks so young. Oh. Magazine day. What? <laughs> Which, ah, which, without the tennis shoes in the, in the pool. Ugh. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. Bradley Whitford, hey. Which which day in October is Nudie Magazine Day? <coughs> she Female Fiesta. Fiesta. Women over 80? Hey. Interesting. Hey, man. <laughs> Different strokes. Drunk, Drunk chicks. chicks. Models over the age of 18. That's good, at least. It's the first green Thank you for flag. clarifying. <laughs> what the hell? Oh! That silly penguin is back again. No, Mr. Madison, they're not penguin. You got too much sun today. They're no penguin. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. You gotta send them back to the South Pole. You sound like drunk water boy. <laughs> sound like drunk Bobby Boucher. <laughs> is he hallucinating? Is he on? Is he on some things? He seems like he's on acid right now. <laughs> Do you see penguins on acid? Is that a thing? Exclusively, yeah. That's what they don't tell you. <laughs> oh, Adam Sandler co-wrote it. Let's go. The man was an auteur from the get, Aaron. <laughs> Faster penguin, kill, kill. All the people at the zoo are very nice, penguin. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, big fella. <laughs> Smack him, penguin. Um, Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Right this way, gentlemen. Mr. Madison is expecting you. <laughs> this must happen often. It's a common occurrence here. You know you shouldn't be pulling that crap in front of your father's business associates. Now you get yourself upstairs and get ready. Uh-oh. This is a very important dinner. You best be there. Yeah. I will. Oh, that boy's a fine piece of uh work, all right. He's a fine piece of ass, though, too. <laughs> yeah, I was, was oh. going to say, is that what you meant to say? All right. <laughs> 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 okay. I have so many feelings off the bat. So many questions. It's like a shotgun blast of insanity. I'm starving. 
I ate some Triscuit crackers in the car. What? Well, maybe if you told me they were delicious Triscuit crackers, I could have enjoyed them with you. I'm sorry. Well, sorry doesn't put the Triscuit crackers in my stomach, now does it? <laughs> Nor mine. I need to go to the store and buy some Triscuit crackers now. Triscuitize me. Uh, Eric Gordon, my executive vice president, and our operations manager, Carl Alfon. Oh, it's the old man, damn. From uh, Christmas Story and stuff. Shampoo is better. I go How old is he supposed to be? I'm very confused on that. I leave the hair silky and smooth. Oh, really, fool? <laughs> Stop looking at me, swan. <laughs> Just that resting face. He went back to this. <laughs> oh, my God. Well. I hate slurping. Stop it. Please this stop. This is an ASMR experience. <laughs> <laughs> You're just dumping it right out the spoon each time. I'm cringing. I'm cringing. <laughs> hey, Carl, what's up? Nothing much, Billy. I see you got a little sun today. Oh, yeah, you think so? I fell asleep by the pool for a few hours. Did you fall asleep or did you pass out? Oh, no. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people have said that to me. A lot of kids when this came out. These gentlemen are going to miss their last flights home. Well, this guy can stay in my room, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 this is the most unhinged I've ever seen Adam Sandler. Well, gentlemen, I can't thank you enough for coming out here this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Getting the Jim Carrey on there. What was that? Uh, this is a big night for me tonight, gents. I uh, I have an important announcement to make. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? The boy is possessed of a demon. We must exorcise him now. <laughs> I'm very confused. Right, one, two, three. Oh! Hey, Billy, how come you ain't pounding any tonight? The original pickleball. My dad was yelling at me. I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> Who'd you rather bone? Meg Ryan or Jack Nicholson? Jack Nicholson now or 1974? <laughs> 74. Meg Ryan. <laughs> you know, it's a tough choice either way. Why don't you just. Uh, that, that's a menage. Uh, real nail biter there. Trauma. <laughs> Billy is not an idiot. Well, I'm not saying he's an idiot. I just think he might not be mature enough to run a Fortune 500 company. Nah, he's got the. We built it into 650 hotels. Our dream was to one day turn it over to our only son, Billy. 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 Now, how many people work for Madison? 61,000 and change. Now, how long are those people going to have jobs once Billy has the hotel operator speaking gibberish? <laughs> how many of those people are going to have a little fun in their lives, okay? Billy, Billy boy. Billy boy. You're going to find whatever it is you're looking for. Here's a nice piece of shit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah, no. Yeah, no. buddy. No. Let's go. My, oh, my. Wait till old man Clemens realizes it's a bag of shit. He gonna shit when he realizes it's shit. <laughs> Who got the lighter? <laughs> I hope that comes to pass. Leave a log right next to the logs. It's good. Light the shit, as, as one does. Oh, uh, uh, of course. Leave the lit bag right next to the pile of, yeah, okay. Oh, Jesus. So many jokes How working at once. He has the shoes on in the undies. Don't put it out with your boots, Tad. Don't tell me my fish is devil woman. Oh, my God. <laughs> devil <laughs> woman. This one's out of control. Oh, uh, I got the, the shit in it. Oh. oh. Jesus, I hate it. I hate it. Poop again. Oh. Uh. the shit poop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, there's just a bunch of kids, a bunch of children. I have big news. Eric what the hell happened to your shirt, dude? Ooh, feel those kicks, he's gonna be a soccer player. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. I love it. This is like watching one of those SNL sketches where the point is trying to make everyone break. I'm trying to tell you that I'm retiring, and Eric, not you, is going to take over Madison Hotel. Uh, I mean, what, what do you care who I appoint to run the company, huh? And what do you care about anything? You don't ever have to look for a job. Yeah, now you can sit around here all day, goofing off, sipping drinks, chasing invisible penguins. Is that it, Dad? Did the penguin tell you to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I can do this if I set my mind to it. High school was a pain in the ass, but I graduated. You graduated because I paid your teachers to give you decent grades. Hey. Damn. 
Let's go, nepotism. How could I hand over my company to someone who couldn't even get through school on his own? Hey, those were AP courses, okay. Don't think about it. Just hand it over. <laughs> <laughs> great, great advice. That's, therein lies the philosophy of the character. Give me one more chance. I'll prove I can take over. I'll do anything it takes. I, I'll, I'll go back to high school and take the exams again, and, and I'll get my diploma all by myself. Billy, Billy, it wasn't just high school. It's every day of your life. First grade through 12th grade, all over again. Uh. I'll do each grade in two weeks, take the test, re-graduate, prove to you I'm not an idiot, and then I get to take over Madison Hotels. <laughs> That's some idea. You just think of that? Yeah, I did. Huh? Oh. Don't you think the future of Madison Hotels and its 61,000 employees is too important to gamble on a game like this? 61,000 and change. No. You're on. <laughs> Carl, you make the arrangement. He just does a flat out no, I don't. <laughs> Pass every grade before June 15th and you take over instead of Eric. That's right after my birthday. Do it for me, Billy. Do it for John. <laughs> That's idea music. We're in our What's up? What? <laughs> are we are we doing this? Is he imagining this? <laughs> Let's go. Get those hips moving. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. All right. Well, the, this movie's so this random. This is the best movie. I haven't seen a movie with this energy in a while. You know I like snack pack. Why can't you just give me a snack pack? I thought I was your snack pack. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. Yeah, you better get your beautiful bugs up that driveway. What a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> Oh, what is happening? I got my <laughs> lunch packed up, my boots tied tight. <laughs> this is Timberlands. He's got this nice Baskin Robbins uniform on top. To school. I thought they were playing love well, interest music for a second. <laughs> second. He will fall in love with the bus itself. <laughs> Knowing this movie. Oh, he got left because he's an, a, a grown a grown boy. He's a grown man. Wait, is the poster for this movie him sitting at a little desk? I was going to say, yeah. I think it might be. Is it like him all crouched over? Yeah, that's what is I thought. Is the poster for Jack also like that? <laughs> you must be Billy Madison. Yes, I am. Don't you think it's a little pathetic that just because of who your father is, you get to come to school all over again? Yes, I do. <laughs> a daddy's boy. <laughs> They took like the, the, the thing of a man child to like the nth degree. <laughs> yeah, he's like all of both. <laughs> and I guess he is just playing him with full child id energy. What I have for breakfast? What? Beans. I haven't seen an uh, an armpit fart in a long time. The same. A throwback. There's a big the couch. The the girl from the show with the big couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no. The kid show with a girl on a big red couch. I want you all it's not exactly to meet kind of her. our new friend, Billy. Can everyone say hello to Billy? Hello, Billy. Hello, Billy. Billy is going to be sharing our fun and learning for the next two weeks. Billy is special. Oh. <gasps> Just like each and every one of you. Oh. And what do we do to our special people? Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, you're special. Oh, you're special, John. You're most special. <laughs> We're special boys. We're special guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hugs to you all as well. Hugs to you. You're special. We love you guys. <laughs> the puppy who lost his way by Chrissy Taylor. Let's go. One fine morning, puppy popped his puppy paws out of his puppy house. <laughs> This is a puppy who understood alliteration. <laughs> this puppy was the happiest puppy in the whole world. His name was Happy. Damn. On brand. Who was so happy that he gave Happy Damn. a kiss on his wet little puppy <laughs> nose. He's like, I'll be your puppy. <laughs> Beautiful. Part of the story I don't like <laughs> is that the little boy gave up looking for Happy after an hour. He didn't put posters up or anything. He just sat on the porch like a goon and waited. Oh. You got a pet. You got a responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> you get your ass out there and you find Kids out. Kids just watching him. <laughs> you know, he's got a point. And that's a good example of how this experience is going to pull the maturity out of him. That's right. See? 
He was proactive. Where all those other kids, they were chumps. Chumps resting. Yeah. Yeah, sleeping while Happy's out there all alone. <laughs> You're out. Doyle rules. Oh, he's going to beat that kid down. Whoa. Oh, hell yes. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Do that breath and motion work. Let's go. What are you doing back? I'm out. Oh. Dodgeball time is a special time. Not just for you boys and girls, but for Miss Lippy too. <laughs> Stay outside. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, we got our pants on. She does need a break. Oh, oh yeah. You're out. Now you're all in big, big trouble. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> it yeah, wouldn't damn, be that sandwich joint if he wasn't like beating down some kids. <laughs> Bet that snack pack's pretty good. Oh sure. Want to trade me the rest of it for this banana? You got that Chaco mustache. I like how he seems so much mature com compared to the kids, where he seems like so unhinged around other adults. Yeah, right. It's like they bounce him out. Like around the kids, he seems immature, not. Like crazy when the adult is like out of his goddamn mind. Yeah, it's like almost having people on his level forces him to like actually engage his intelligence a little bit or his like critical thinking. Totally. Oh, Damn. Oh, hello there. Wow. I matched my car. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Pick up your little brother here at school. He's my son. <laughs> <laughs> He's my grandson. That's Billy. He's in my class. I heard his read. Or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Different times. Different times. Daddy's in prison, and he won't be home for a long time. My dear lord. Oh no. My god. You forgot your stuff. Oh my. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, the macaroni necklace. Thank you very much, Miss Lippy. Or it's not macaroni, it's what, rigatoni? Billy Madison? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Taking me back. <laughs> just like freaking out. <laughs> I drew the duck blue because I've never seen a blue duck before. And to be honest with you, I, I wanted to see a blue duck. Isn't that a Psyduck evolution? Congratulations. You just passed the first grade. Yay. Hey. So great. What do you think of that, Mr. Blue Duck? That's quacktastic. <laughs> quacktastic, baby. <laughs> Oh, there's watches in there. Rolex. Oh, Rolex. Oh, yeah, your birthday party is going to be the talk of the town. When I graduated first grade, all my father did was tell me to get a job. <laughs> you want to feed that donkey some beer? Get it all messed up? Did you grow up in the 1940s? <laughs> I'll go put some beer in a bucket. <laughs> you see a drunk donkey, huh? Uh -oh. Yep. Oh, Juanita and Miss Lippy hanging out. Damn. Wow. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that fall just gave him a major head damage. It's more grim than I expected. Yeah, it's dark. And now we have just two students left. Bath. 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 B-A-T-H. That's right. Uh-oh. I thought she was saying her name was Bath. She's... Shit. Ah, uh, she had, she helped him. C A E E S E. She. Correct. Okay. All right. Whew. We got cheese. I honestly didn't know which way that would go. Yeah. Couch. C O W. No. Oh. Ah. <laughs> well, Billy, if you spell this correctly, you pass second grade. Oh, damn. We're just dun, doing dun. this. Is it past fifth grade to get it? C I think I gotta go all the way up to at least eighth. C O U C H. <laughs> Correct. Woo! Second grade. I am the smartest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> I am so smart. S M R T. Second grade party. Oh, don't sit on the oh. sprinkler. Oh my child. Is he gonna have a stupid party every time he passes a grade? <laughs> yup, every two weeks, baby. Yeah. How would you feel working for some punk kid like Billy? Billy. This guy's so based. What's going on? What, oh, okay. That's nice. 
the uh, first uh, bidet, guys. That's right. <laughs> Gotta get real nice and squeaky clean. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I mean, first and second grade were easy, but social studies division, this is going to be tough. <laughs> huh? Relax, dude. Dude. Hey, our teacher friend. Oh. <laughs> He's going to keep failing the third grade to stay with her. Yeah. We're going to start today by reading together a short story entitled My Sister Fanny. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Fanny. To page 69. 69. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to Billy Madison. Ugh. He will be gone in two weeks. I apologize for this inconvenience. Oh, she loves him. Watch up her butt. <laughs> what was that, Billy? Whoa. I said reading is good. Can we start the story now? <laughs> the, 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 there was a g g g girl... T -t -t Today, Junior. Oh, I've heard that. Other people say that. <laughs> Today, Junior. <laughs> that was the first. Making fun of a little kid for trying to read. Are you psycho? Do you not have a soul? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I've been physically abused in the ear. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your mouth shut for the next two weeks, or I'm gonna fail you. Woof. So you know that girl I've been chasing. Turns out she's my third grade teacher. The first thing she does is kick me out of her class. Maybe she feels she has to uh, make an example of you. Or maybe she's got something up her ass. <laughs> she's the best. Juanita's great. You want me to take my shirt off for you? What no, is happening? You. Okay, baby. But remember, the offer is on the table. <laughs> Juanita first. <laughs> A weird take on that trope. <laughs> Would you like to try writing some words in cursive on the blackboard today? Okay, sure. Uh oh. Okay, how about the word dugout? Okay. How about bunt? Pass the bunt. <laughs> Cake? B U N T in perfect cursive. Any more brain busters? <laughs> Rizzuto. It, w w what is a risotto in baseball? Z. Zeds are fun, man. <laughs> fair. Those are Zs. They look like ours to me. That's not fair. Risotto is not a word. He's a baseball player. You're cheating. Uh, okay. Would you like to try the word buzz? Uh, I'm never coming back to school. Never. Oh, no. I swear to God, I'm sick. I can't go to school. If you're going to stay home today, you can help me shave my armpits. <laughs> God, I'll go to school. Juanita. Every, every line of hers is a banger. Shooting her shot on she, the daily. I like half the people in this movie feel like they're in a film that is being directed. And the other half of them feel like they are just being free to, to let their creativity flow. And Sandler is one of those people. Juanita is one of those people. <laughs> totally different energy. I'm here for it, though. Take your seat. <laughs> oh, it's my man from Big Daddy. It's the social worker. Oh, that's right. Get a beard in that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Miss Fawn is not feeling well today, so I'll be taking her place. But don't get your hopes up because I plan on teaching. <laughs> Now, uh -oh. uh, who can tell Passing me notes. where we pass in note? Bring that note up to me. Aw. <laughs> ooh, busted. Ooh. Now, let's see what couldn't wait till after class. Oh, no. We're so lucky to have Principal Anderson substituting. Oh. Now we have the privilege of staring at that tub of lard all day long. <laughs> Damn, kids wrote that? If I were Damn. him, I would walk my fat ass right into oncoming. <laughs> Damn. Jesus Christ. That's a lot for a third grader. Yes, this music cue. Me, my Valentine, Billy. Love Jennifer. Aww. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, golly. I want to be you, Aww. Billy. Oh. <laughs> Very flattering, Principal Anderson. How cute. Ah, oh, no. Uh, you know. No. 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 <laughs> but but yes. seriously though, I I am. <laughs> Is this Miss Vaughn? Oh hi, it's Ernie from class. Ask her if she has a boy oh my friend. god. A boy. Do you have a boyfriend? She actually answered the question. If she likes anybody from class like more than a friend. Hmm. Do you uh like anybody in class more than a friend? No. I can't believe she's entertaining this at all. <laughs> Oh, boy. Would you uh, 
ever go out with anybody from class? You see, Ernie, grown-ups like to go out with other grown-ups. What about Billy? Good. You're more of a grown-up than Billy. <laughs> I'll give you a grown-up. What was that, Ernie? Mm -hmm. Um, see you tomorrow in class, Miss Fawn. You blew it! Oh, no, man. You can't go blaming other people. I dare you to throw your sandwich at the bus driver. <laughs> is that... Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, Chris Farley. This is the van from down by the river. <laughs> I'll turn this damn bus around. That'll end your precious little field trip pretty Good. damn quick, huh? Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, so god. Oh my god, man. I guess it would be a bus down by the river, but you get my point. Tommy Boy is the one with him and David Spade, right? I think so. I've never seen that one either. Nor have I. Oh, that'd be a fun one. I dare you to touch your... That's uh. assault, brother. Uh, brother? <laughs> you double dare me? You double dare me to assault? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, how long till we get there? I have to go to the bathroom. Um, probably about two minutes. Oh, no. What the hell? No, what the actual times. hell? Bad, bad times. Guy drives like an animal. That's all right, Billy. Why don't you go back and sit down now? Okay. I double dare you. Oh, uh, she got smart to it. <laughs> oh no, you're lucky she was cool about that. Right. <laughs> wow. Wow. I am sorry about what happened back what there. The, what a fit. I admit, yeah. I've been trying to be good lately. Well, you're not the first person that's tried to grab my chest. Ooh. I'm really trying not to hold you to a higher standard than the rest of the students. Huh. Although maybe I should. <laughs> you are, what, 50? Now she's into him? Like, what? Okay. We gotta go uh. back and see where the crucial turn happened. This is when she pulled his ear. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to annoy another teacher, Miss Vaughn. I want to annoy you. Miss Vaughn! Oh, damn. Which she's is, loving it. She's into it, bro. Everybody loves Billy. Who would steal 30 bag lunches? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the friends. <laughs> wow. Let's go. Maybe it was the cursive scene. I'll tell you who took those lunches. That damn Sasquatch. Oh, <gasps> yes. Well, I guess that's it. It's okay, everybody. Jesse Eisenberg's in this movie? <laughs> yeah, that was funny enough. I did think of that. <laughs> There's a movie called Sasquatch Sunset for those who didn't understand the reference. You falling in love with the wall or something? I had an accident. Oh. What does that mean? No. Oh. You. Don't worry, buddy. You hang tight. I'll be right back. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. You know what? Why not? <laughs> now we're the same. Hey, look, everybody. Billy peed his pants. Everybody <laughs> my age pees their pants. It's the coolest. Really? Yes. You oh, ain't no. cool unless you pee your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie pees too. Wow, man. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. All these kids have to start pissing on themselves. <laughs> Let's go. If peeing your pants is cool, consider me Miles Davis. <laughs> oh, my. Let's go, Miles. Let's go. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. All these kids piss themselves. That's great. <laughs> that is wonderful. <laughs> This Vaughn is dressed like, like Cher and Clueless. Oh, oh Jesus, Jesus dude. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> different times, different times. Uh, so it was okay. <laughs> Veronica Vaughn is one piece of ace. <laughs> I know from experience, dude. You know what I mean? Dude. No, you don't. Well, not me personally, but a guy, him and her got it on. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. No, 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 they didn't. Aww. <laughs> but you can imagine what it'd be like if they did, right? Huh? Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 oh, oh R.I.P. Man, I miss Chris. Farley. Where do the friends go? Where do they come from? They're in the trunk. Okay. <laughs> yes. The Billy yeah. Madison way. Yeah. Yes. I wonder if they shot all these parties in like the same couple days. So we passed the third grade. Okay. Um, oh, this fun. He just on one Who kid. Who are he? <laughs> oh my god. I also like that when they just add ADR clearly where no words are happening in like a gag like that. That happens a lot in these comedies. Look, she came and she came. Oh, Miss Vaughn's there. 
Now let's other check. Oh no, the love triangle. <laughs> no! No! No, stop it! No! Stop. I hate it, I hate it so much. Is yours. Mucus Del Rey. Mucus Del Rey! Oh golly. Oh, <laughs> lot of, that's a lot of pudding. Wow. Well, those should last you through the weekend. He is. Thank you very much. So that you can become the guy and click and only eat sweets forever. Nobody's on the right track now. Yeah, he's on track, all right. He's headed right down the toilet. Easy. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> was that a scripted bit or was that just a bit <laughs> that they went with? Who will help me <laughs> destroy Billy Madison? Oh my god. Who? I, I love him. I love the way they are writing him. I love the way he is performing. Oh, the t-shirt with the okay. What the hell is doing with the like crazy spit thing? What do they call that gleeking? Is it just you and your dad in here? And some maids and butlers and stuff. And people who work for my dad are always stopping by. And then my friends are always sleeping Jeepers. over, even when I didn't ask them to. <laughs> they all have their own rooms. Sounds like a hotel. Yeah, it kind of is. It can be distracting. That's why I moved out here. Wow. Tijuana. I was just thinking that. I was like, wow, what a shirt. Oh, <laughs> he's shy. <laughs> this is where I've been uh, spending most of my time lately. Not exactly roughing it, are you? Is there a parrot through the mirror? This is my Egyptian safari man. Uh, like, are, uh, okay. They come yep. with a tent. Come with a tent. And a moaning outhouse. Excellent. A tale of two cities. I don't think we're up to that one yet. I can understand nine words in that book now. <laughs> it's um the last day of third grade. Aww. And you have the teacher alone in your tent. What do you want to do? Let's go. Jesus what Christ. do you want to do? Only in movies, ladies and gentlemen. Only in movies. How are you guys doing? Oh, no. Carl. Hey, Carl. Good to see you. Uh. Bill, I think Eric is up to something. He made some menacing comments to me earlier today, and then he did that little weasel laugh that he does. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. That sounded just like him. Thanks. I'm sure he's got something up his sleeve. You're a real one, Carl. Boys. <laughs> Gave him a little goth lipstick. <laughs> Veronica equals pretty. Kick teacher in head. <laughs> you take a bite out of him. Oh, oh shoot. Get it. Get it. Oh, yeah, he must be great at PE. <laughs> <laughs> yes, get that lice test, baby. Oh my god. This <laughs> <laughs> her headshot. <laughs> yeah, it's her headshot. Legit. Glamour shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Gotta practice up, you know. Or you, you throw up. play soccer with us after school? No, I got a test on Friday. I'll play with you guys next week. <laughs> next week you'll be in ninth grade. You aren't gonna want to hang around with a bunch of dumb elementary school kids like us anymore. Aww. I'll come and visit you guys all the time. Yes, your girlfriend. Ooh. Ooh. You like girls, dude? You're gay. I love <laughs> I made an extra scrubby money. What the? Lady, you're scared. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, you are. What Wizard of Oz dimension did you come this, out this of? This movie is so random. This is a very disorienting film experience, <laughs> but it's madcap that I'm having a blast. <laughs> madcap enough that I'm having a blast. Oh, living like Larry. Living like Larry. You know where the bathroom is? Second door on the left. What a game are you playing? How about a little bathroom reading? I have the August 1983 issue of Wrestling World here. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Same face. <laughs> Terrific article about a wrestler named the the revolting blob. Jesus. In June 1983, he sat on some guy's head and killed him. Ah. Oh. It was just a stunt. Oh no. He was supposed to pinch my leg if he was running short of air. Oh. I wonder how he had time to get his teaching degree. No. No. No, you can't do that to me. Those kids are my whole life. So you wouldn't want anything Damn. to happen that would make them think less of you, right? Oh. <laughs> boy. You ready to cooperate with oh me? Oh, boy. Oh, what 
is happening to this man? Madison Hotels is as good as mine. <laughs> I, I love him. He's great. He's the worst. He's the best. Joseph Nib. He's going to high school. Let's go. 21 Jump Street in this. Just keep <laughs> running. Keep contributions by your side, yeah. Strong man, strong man. <laughs> hey, well, we don't like REO Speedwagon now? I mean, I guess REO Speedwagon isn't very relevant in this day and age either, but... <laughs> Poor chlorophyll is caught in the middle of this. Chlorophyll? More like borophyll. Okay, I'm so happy they didn't laugh at that. <laughs> it's like, that's some elementary school. They're wrapped by this man's tale of science and... He's a little bit stuffy in here, huh? Don't anyway. talk to me. And why is that? Because you're a loser. They got kind of like BJ Novak. No, I will not make out with you. <laughs> oh, Christ. You got chlorophyll man up there talking about God knows what. All she's talking about is making out with me. I'm here to learn, everybody, not to make out with you. <laughs> hey. Wow. Flat old Doyle, nice meeting you. <laughs> Jeez. Ugh. Didn't a kid do that in elementary school, too? Who's it's probably this his big brother, yeah. Oh, yeah. You ought to start cutting your underwear before you get to school. So it rips easier. Wow. Were well, the guys everybody used to pick on before you started here? Oh, no, they ain't what? picking on me. Are you in loser denial or something? Oh. I had a bad case of loser denial myself. Until the lacrosse team stuck a parking cone at my ass. Wow. Damn. I was the king of this high school. Hundred friends, million parties. You guys are losers, not me. I wonder if I've seen these two anywhere else. They look kind of familiar. How's high school, Billy? High school is great. I'm learning a lot, and all the kids are treating me very nice. Gee, I can't wait till I go to hike school. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Don't you ever say that. Yeah. Stay here. Stay as long as you can. Yes, appreciate it. For the love of God, cherish it. <laughs> I mean, 10 years ago, high school was the greatest. I had so much fun. Well, I guess you have a little too much fun since you've got to do it again. Yeah. Just the classes are so hard, and all the kids treat me like I'm a goof. Well, you are a goof. Point. Eight more weeks and you're all set. Mm, yeah, you're right. You're so smart. Hey. <laughs> Aww. Mm. You crazy kids. It um, doesn't feel so great to be called a loser, does it? No. Maybe the first time you went to high school, you weren't as nice to the kids that you thought were losers. There you go. Yeah. Get that spiritual redemption, baby. Yarr. What are we doing here? I like how the phone's already ringing as he is <laughs> dialing. Steve! Buscemi! Hey! Hi, is this Danny McGrath? Uh, yeah. Who's this? This is, uh, Billy Madison. You probably don't remember me, but I, I went <laughs> to high school with you. Sure. Sure I remember. I did some things that I thought were funny at the time, but now I realize they were just mean and, and stupid, and, uh, just wanted to apologize, and I hope you forgive me. Yeah, sure. Don't worry about it. It's no problem. <laughs> Maybe we can get together sometime and uh, and have some coffee or something. Sure, I'd like that. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. what what what's coming? What's the punchline? There's no number he saved or anything. How hot is his wife or <laughs> how many happen. guns does he have? People yeah, kill! Oh, people no. kill. Ah, you made it! Isn't Bob Simons like the producer? <laughs> I gotta read the rest of those names. Steve Buscemi, man. No matter how weird the gag or what the movie, he's always so committed. <laughs> Power and corruption involving a hotel oh, no. tycoon. How his 27-year-old millionaire son cheated his way through elementary school. What the hell? And now maybe it's somebody else. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I am the principal at the Polly Fector Elementary School. Polly Fector. A young man named Billy Madison was enrolled there. The only reason he passed was that he offered me a bribe of $5,000, which I regrettably accepted. <laughs> no. He's lying. You made a fool out of me. No. You seriously don't believe me, Dad? That's right. The deal's off. Eric's got the company. Damn it. Wow. Good news <laughs> for me. <laughs> 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 it's a very Adam Sandler movie kind of character. Oh, yeah. You gonna come to class on Monday? <laughs> Wouldn't make much sense now, would it? Aw, oh, man. 
Nah, man, Miss Vaughn's not gonna let him give up. She knows the truth. <laughs> what a moon. Ho, ho, ho! Hey, baby! Mm. You looking hot tonight? No. We're gonna go on a date! <laughs> you, me, Jack, and Frank are gonna go around putting shit on people's doorsteps and we're gonna <sighs> set it on fire! Sets it on fire. Backtracking. I know that you didn't pay off Max. Whoa. Well, that makes two of us then, baby. Blue. But it takes more than two to tangle. Oh, no, it doesn't. Talky, talky, talky. No more talking. You got a ladder in here? No. No. I see what's going on in here. Oh, oh shit. damn it, man. What is he on, bro? What's in that keg? <laughs> Proceed. Really? You're losing your mind. Yeah. It's a quaaludes or something. All right, boys, night out! Bird quaaludes. <laughs> Is that a Bill Cosby quaaludes voice? No, it was oh, a okay, reference good. to All Rick right. and Morty. Never mind. That's, it <laughs> sounded like that, but then for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Hey. Ah! Ow! I need to talk to you. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, Get him. Land that haymaker. Wet shoes, wet shoes. Oh, no, not again. Oh, more wet shoes. What's going on, man? Ow. Yeah, beat yeah. him. Beat some sense into him. See their POV. <laughs> I like that she is just laying the beat down on him. What is that? What are you doing? Instead of being an idiot every day, why don't you go back to school, graduate, and get the company? Because I don't want it anymore. Oh. <laughs> anymore my meal ticket you know what i can't believe i ever liked someone who could just roll over and die like this oh i was set up and worst of all nobody believes me i believe you billy Ooh. you know some people have no willpower no brains no vision they just move through life like lumps of crap but you like crap on fire <laughs> you say you're not a loser billy madison so when she just baptized him into intelligence <laughs> 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 yes. No man will take what my father has built unless that man is, is me. me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, Billy boy. Oh my god. Don't I have a nice rack? <laughs> Get that. <laughs> Break that fourth wall, Billy. <laughs> I see things so clearly now. I choose my destiny. Oh, Billy, I knew you had it in you. <laughs> I had it in you. Get back in school to stay. You gotta work real hard and stick it out to graduation. Wait a day there. Kids, it's me. Oh, he's not dead. I was dead. I did. Yes. When I fell over, I just broke my leg and got a hemorrhage in my head. Oh, oh goody. <laughs> yes. Gum, more gum, more gum. Gum, more gum. Oh, I should have had a bingo card for this movie. I did not see a musical number coming. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's not oh, Halloween yet. Anderson, is that you? Mr. Anderson. Billy said the stuff that you said didn't happen. Is he lying or are you lying? Yeah. The statement I made about Billy Madison uh, was and is completely oh. untrue. No. Oh. Oh, no, oh. no, no, no. <laughs> the statue. Yeah. Oh! Damn. Joyce. Oh. What? Did you just kill that woman? Is that, gonna, is that gonna come back around? Has anybody been able to find out anything about this Max guy? No, sir. He's vanished. Oh, Christ. Billy should get another shot at high school. Billy was supposed to finish each grade within the two weeks or I get the company. And he didn't finish ninth grade. <laughs> Technically, you're right, but... Oh, uh, shut uh, up, Brian. I've had to listen to your jawing for too long. Well, technically... <laughs> just shut up! I was gonna say, my man's got big Trump energy. Are you ready to hand the company over to yeah. me yeah. now? Mm, no, probably I'll see your ass in court. Nice talking to you, shitheads. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like to settle this right now? No lawyers. You and me, mano e mano. Ooh. What does that mean? Carl, what does that mean? Man-to-man. <laughs> uh, -man. I don't know. <laughs> hand to hand. <laughs> mano. Imano. 
It means an academic decathlon. One day, ten events, testing all the knowledge one would gain in high school. Me versus yeah. you. Let's take it a little easy here. No, I'm serious. Let's do it on Friday. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, if you think you can beat him. Oh, I can. And I will. And I will. I know it was you. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> Excellent call. Was that improv? I must know. <laughs> the kiss. Oh, fellas, you're saving my life. Oh, manure. Shit. I hate manure. Literally. Oh, Doyle rules. Oh, Doyle, I got a feeling your whole family's going down. But for now, I got to study. Damn, growth. Yarp. Norman invasion of England. 1066. That is correct. Oh, strip study guide. Magnum. I like the overalls. Good, good call. Nice. 12, 15. Now I will remember the Magna Carta year as well. Spanish Armada. Big fleet of galleon ships. 1466. 67. 1469. 1514. No, Billiam. Uh-oh. 1986. <laughs> do not do that. Uh-oh. God, give me the answer! Oh, yep. Polish them cheeks. Polish that ass. Kiss it. Kiss it. Give a big, big old sniff. Is Steve Buscemi gonna come back into this movie? Oh, I bet you. I wonder. Maybe. This is gonna be in the high school. Uh, 1588. Was that like home ec? Correct. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. Oh my man. Get that Chippendale sketch going. <laughs> <laughs> If there is any attempt by either contestant to cheat, especially with my wife, <laughs> of course. I am just gonna snap. <laughs> I'm just gonna snap. All right then, let the academic decathlon begin. This guy's excited. He's been waiting for a decathlon for some time. He's <laughs> <Nice. laughs> <laughs> but does Eric pee his pants? Probably not, because he's not cool. Damn, they had like full ass home ec in this version of high school. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh my god! What? <laughs> we didn't have any really home ec oriented classes, and I'm bummed about that. Second team All American, Harvard trip. <laughs> Is that right? Oh yeah! <laughs> Did you see that guy's balls? <laughs> what? That's yeah, this is shorts. Must be going solo under there, going commando. Wowie. <laughs> what? Uh -huh. what 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 is the, what is the assignment? Experiment? Does he does he play? It looked like he played at least the pantomime. Whoa. He's good. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> to be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. It's fun, because he is like probably Shakespearean trained. Let's get a Sandler Shakespeare joint. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> you in particular. Yes, bravo, yes. bravo, bravo, you. Good, good. Oh, oh, Christ. oh Christ! Here yeah, it comes. It's gonna happen now, finally. Oh, <laughs> toil rules. Oh my God. <laughs> Mannequins. <laughs> <laughs> Just a sound effect. Jesus. It's not even an explosion. That's probably the best way they could have hoped to have gone out, honestly. Good afternoon, students. You've been Whoa. invited here today to witness the 10th. <laughs> very Bring common some trash. Speech, common trash. Oh. In the competition between Mr. Eric Gordon and Mr. Billy Madison. Oh, God. Mr. Madison is ahead by one point. French Revolution. Each competitor will select hey, Juanita's there. My wife, My wife is sleeping around. My wife is tramp. Burning dog poo in the human response. <laughs> Business ethics. 
Reflections of society and literature. Good luck, schmuck. Good luck, schmuck. That, oh, no, that's Chuck and Larry is the Adam Sandler one. He's also good luck, Chuck. That's Dane Cook, though. Uh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Get Miss Lippy. Miss Lippy. Everyone's coming out. The Industrial Revolution to me is just like a story I know called The Puppy Who Lost His Way. Yeah. The world was changing yeah. and the puppy was getting <laughs> bigger. So you see. The <laughs> 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 oh my god. They were both lost in the woods and nobody, especially the little boy, society, knew where to find them. Oh. <laughs> Except yes, that yes. The puppy was a dog. As they usually are. That was a revolution. Oh. Okay. Okay. Football rules. <laughs> Demon yeah. school football rules. Yeah, football. <laughs> Let's go. There's got to be a little bit of Bill and Ted nodding in there. Mr. Madison, what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. <laughs> At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to <laughs> I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> this guy's great, too. That's great. <laughs> yes, agree. Mr. Gordon, it is your turn. Mr. Madison, choose the topic. That was my favorite scene. That was my favorite thing in the whole movie. <laughs> I choose business What's your Roman Empire? ethics. Hmm. <laughs> Try to look less suspicious. Mr. Gordon, the American business has yeah, fundamentally changed following the insider trading and savings and loan scandals. Explain business ethics. <laughs> I don't know what those are. Ethics of uh, business can be summarized in. Uh... <laughs> so I'm just booing him. Yeah. <laughs> just the one guy. Boo, <laughs> you, you stink! It's so uncomfortable. You know, the. the, the... <laughs> <laughs> Oh what? my god, what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what the hell? I demand a new question. What the hell is happening? This is some good satire. You blew away, you blew. <laughs> I had to blow you away. You're miserable. Well, go ahead. This guy's not even concerned. Yes? Oh. <laughs> my man! What is happening? The people's elbow. <laughs> this movie's insane. It is. <laughs> Oh my god, no, not Miss Vaughn! It's a butt cheeks! <laughs> Is it Steve Buscemi? It's Steve! <laughs> Man, I'm oh, what the I hell? That He's Milton. He's Milton with the red stapler. He just leaves! Oh my god, excellent. Kind of sweaty, a little hungry. But all in all, I'm okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, geez. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You did it, Billiam. You're Billiam Madison Good now. Good job, Billiam. I graduated. <laughs> it's over. I did it. I know most of you are saying, hey, any idiot could do that. Well, it was tough for me, so back off! Fair enough. This hotel stuff really isn't for me, so uh, I decided <laughs> to uh, step down as chairman of Madison Hotels and give the company to Carl. Go, Carl. And Dad's just like, yep, that seems like the right decision to me. <laughs> I'm going to go to college. I'm going to be a teacher. Oh, my. Okay. Are you sure this is what you want to do? I'm sure, Dad. Thanks for everything. <laughs> my man. True coming of age tale. What can I say, buddy? You saved my life. Uh, you don't have to say anything. I'm so proud of you. Aww. I'm still horny. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Is, yep. Oh, no. No, Max. No. Oh, my God. I vouch for you, man. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You think he's horny? <laughs> oh, oh, my. Let's do it right here. And now we can segue into That's My Boy. This is a nexus for so many potential Sandler futures. I don't futures. know who that chick is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, was, that one really that makes sense. That was a sloppy Joe's lady. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Oh, my God. No. How old are you, no, high school no, kids? No, no, Thank God. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Okay. 
I'm happy we didn't do that. Okay. <laughs> hey! All right. I ship them. I ship them. Let's, Let's go. go. Love. Get that up a tree, love. Oh, and perfect. Well, then he gets a happy end. I said I wanted some Shakespearean Sandler. This is a Shakespearean comedy. Everyone's getting <laughs> married at the end. Oh, what are oh, we? Wow. Oh! Just out of frame. What is this movie rated again? It's getting panged off. It's a hard PG. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> what a weird shot to end on. <laughs> uh, alrighty. Okay. How many, and how many times is, has the stroke been a, a featured in a Sandler joint? I feel like <laughs> this song, he, he pulls in a lot of those like 80s rock tunes, but... Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness gracious people. Listen, hold on. B big thank you to everybody who made this video possible really quick, uh, because in an Adam Sandler movie, there was a surprisingly small amount of product placements. So we gotta catch up on that right now. Yeah. Let's do that thing. Ask the pro and go, it's faster, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, I got so excited. They know I got excited <laughs> when they wanted to partner up with us yet again. And let me tell you why. See, a couple months ago when we were first approached by them for our first sponsored agreement, I wanted to try them out before agreeing to do a sponsorship with them. Reason being is because I get terrible allergies. Roxy Stride, whenever she shows up here, usually points it out because she happens to catch me on the days when my allergies are acting up. And on top of that, too, I have a deviated septum, so I often have a difficult time breathing through my right nostril. I'm the person who needs a nasal allergy spray, needless to say. Didn't mean to rhyme bars. And when I used Astapro, I fell in love. <laughs> I really believe in this allergy spray. They sent me over that one sample. So the bottle you see in my hand, I don't know what number bottle this is that I personally bought myself. So please let me tell you a little bit more about them. Astapro is the first of its kind nasal allergy spray and it is the fastest 24 hour over the counter allergy spray. It starts working in 30 minutes while other allergy sprays, they take hours. It's the first and only 24 hour steroid free allergy spray. It delivers full prescription strength indoor and outdoor allergy relief from nasal congestion, runny and itchy nose, and sneezing. For anyone who experiences allergies or congestion, you know that no matter what you're doing, you just perform better. Once you get that cleared up, Astapro has been the fast, faster pro. It's been the fastest working one for me. So if you want to experience the joy with me, you can get fast acting nasal allergy symptom relief with Astapro. You can go to astaproallergy.com for a discount so you can use Astapro and go A-S-T-E-P-R-O allergy.com. It's faster, bro. I love it. I say it every time I pick up my bottle. Use as directed for relief of nasal congestion, runny nose, sneezing, and itchy nose due to allergies. Buying via through our link is also a fantastic way to support the channel. Let's you know that we were the ones who directed you there. I really do believe in them. I've been buying them myself. I heavily vouch for them, Reject Nation. Give them a shot. Thank you. Do the thing. You get the shirts. Look at us. I got oh, a shirt. He do got the a shirt. Thing. We got these shirts Look at too. How beautiful. Yeah, we, yeah, got, we yeah. got nipple chills. We got we got bad jokes. We got yeah. crude language. We got the classic tickets right here. We also yeah. got a whole bunch of other stuff. We just got a brand new X Men inspired tee. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The X Men '97 inspired tee. We got oh, the uh, brand new Super Marvel Brothers tee. We oh, got the snap. Doctor Who tee is coming back. We got the Space Babies. We got the who influences the influencers the classic real rejects uh logo variations we got a whole bunch of things we're finding those things yeah if you want to go over to rejectnationshop.com that's where you can be finding all those things you can drip yourself out and support the channel all in one fell swoop we appreciate it we appreciate it greatly we appreciate you you're the bomb.com oh the bomb.net.org you're the bomb.gov government organization Aaron what'd you think John. of Billy Madison <laughs> oh, oh and, and before you before you tell me what you thought leave, leave us your thoughts uh, as in the form of a, uh, of a rating if you're watching listening to this on Apple or Spotify we're getting there, we're getting my, there. my brain has been thoroughly liquefied by those movies so uh, uh, yes. we're, we're gonna yeah um, <laughs> how would you feel about <laughs> Billy Madison <laughs> uh, it, was, it was an experience it was definitely an experience you yeah. know um, yeah Adam Sandler yeah. is all the way Sandlered up in this movie. He's Truly. probably the most unhinged we've ever seen him in in the movies we've watched. Unbridled his, Sandler. Unbridled yeah. Sandler in his 90s career. Uh, it was it was wacky. It was unhinged. Uh, for me, it had moments of, of humor that were really 
uh, peak to my personal sensibilities. Uh-huh. Uh, and they had, you know, I, I like the overall theme. Like, you know, this this kid who's, uh, there's man child who's kind of immature, who then <laughs> kind of immature, just kind of, you know, just a little bit. Sorry, uh, I'm, not, I'm not ignoring you. I'm, I'm Googling Tamara Davis because that was going to drive I'm me insane. Very offended. No, ah! I'm just ah! uh, no we, uh, we're, we're watching stuff. We're talking. Me and you, me and him. We're all we're all in conversation. We're all here. here. Uh, and anyway, what I was saying is that I l- it was it was all right. It this was all appeals right to your sensibility as an uh, immature young man. It, yeah, hundred percent. Uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a stack. This is not my favorite Adam Sandler movie. Oh, uh, what? I, did I? Why not, okay. Aaron? Why not? Uh, you know, I think I just like give the people something to comment on. Give the people a thing. Hit me. Hit me with your best shot. Uh, I thought it. I will say it had its moments that did make me laugh. Okay. You know, it had its fun to it, but I okay. think ultimately. Uh, a lot of his humor did not hit for me oh. on this one. I know John John was having a hoot, Man, a hollering, I was having a, a good hoot. time. I was hollering. I think it was just a little too random for me, and I just have a, a hard as, Which as much as much as I enjoy Adam Sandler being his goofball self. I just have a hard time buying the love interest, like with how insane it is. Why? It's just they it doesn't totally make, it doesn't compute s- in my established brain. the transition there. It's ridiculous. There was so it's many a trend scenes that we've seen. I know so many scenes of just all those times I was sitting here going, can we skip past this romantic comedy subplot? They're way they're, they're going too <laughs> granular on the character growth here. All right. I don't need to hear these entire characters life stories. I, 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 you got what I mean? I know what you mean. I just um, Tamara Davis directed half baked as well as uh, 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 something else there. I've never I had seen half baked. Well, like to watch it you crossroads that. Britney Spears. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's I'm, go. I know what that is. You what what is your I life know. even man Dude, i don't even know i'm all over the place uh <laughs> i like like we've, we've watched a few here um my um old johnny boy and i uh so i, I like to have madison uh big daddy uh i liked love love wedding you mean happy gilmore don't That's get the people meant. confused what did i say oh we happy watched madison big daddy. is the yeah you're right oh yeah i, fl- I flipped the flipped happy the madison is the production company billy madison is this movie yes okay right. the, the fusion of the two yeah. but yeah i like you I, I liked happy happy gilmore uh and big daddy and wedding singer okay. uh but yeah okay. out of out of those four this was probably uh, my least a uh, favorite but it did have moments of humor that did make me laugh i do like i, I think I like random humor. I, th- I think I, 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 as far as like, I've had to pick a favorite type of humor for me personally. It's like absurdist humor. And this was more uh, random slapsticky, which I do like slapstick. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Something about it wasn't, uh, was not hidden for me consistently, yeah. but it did have its moments. Like I said, towards the end of the movie where it was like, that was the, you made everyone in this room dumber. Like that was, probably, that was probably <laughs> the funniest thing in this movie. That's for how me. you felt about the entire movie. Yeah. And just, I was like, you know, I understand like not everything in humor <laughs> in movies is going to make sense. But I think the fact that he was, was he like, was he, was he like schizophrenic? Was he on drugs? Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm confused. I'm still confused. The internal logic and rules of this movie are not the clearest element. Like, I don't need, I don't need I a movie. I grant you. I don't need a movie to play to like our real world logic, but if I need a movie to, <laughs> to have some sort of foundation of its own logic. Sure. And sure. I feel like this movie never did that or committed to that. And we'd have random bits where we'd like re it's definitely re- freewheeling and fast it's, and loose in those departments. Yeah, It feels especially. like they just kind of like put it together and it's like, there's parts where like we're having information that's like, we already know that's also restated to us, but also the fact that, well, I will say another positive. I really liked the guy who played Eric. I thought he was really funny, and he he really Bradley Whitford. Yeah, Bradley Whitford. Yeah, he he really his had to get out. He was the dad. That was him. That's him. Yo, yeah. this blew my mind. Looks so different. Oh yeah, Holy he's all crap. over the place now. Holy crap! That, yeah, wow, blew my mind. Um, uh, but. Yeah, like the stuff of Juanita I thought was cool. Um, <laughs> that was really I mean, out of pocket. That's a requisite Adam Sandler trope, I feel like, is it's either like the old lady or the maid or somebody around who's like unlikely to be super into him and, and like aroused by him. Yeah. And everybody wanted to, to get to him. Yeah, it was, you know, it was definitely entertaining. I was never bored during the movie, for sure. Um, but yeah, just not my particular cup of tea. Had its moments, but okay. overall, 
was not my favorite. Okay, well, let me earn the people back, Earn the people back. Uh, I mean, certainly this is not exactly the kind (laughs) of uh, comedy that I pick, like, first out of a lineup. Um, I'm torn because I do really enjoy... Uh, you know, b- just blunt force absurdity as this presented it anyway, in that, like, I started to enjoy the movie partly because of the fact that I'm like, I'm, I'm disoriented and I have a feeling that they don't really, they don't, pr- not that they don't care too much, but just like the focus would not be on creating consistent rules for, or, or clarity for certain gags. I feel like, yeah, they are kind of relying on the fact that this is a bit random. You're going to fill in the blanks yourself and we're going to get as madcap and as wild as possible. And yeah, like it's predicated on being super juvenile. And, and this is the kind of movie too, where like, you know, it, it reveals itself and it calms down ever so slightly as it goes along like I could I could see somebody starting this and if this really isn't your vibe like being off put within like five minutes because because uh, like you know the way you meet Billy is so just like overboard with you yeah you're just like what what is this guy what's going on with this dude um, and yep. you know they allude to it every once in a while or like auxiliary characters will comment about like what's wrong with this guy um, but yeah it's like it's hard to tell if he's like you know, if if he actually ha- is mentally a child to that degree or if he's just, you know, drunk and never ever had to take responsibility, uh, dr- if he's just, yeah, like dr- drunk and partied up and, and, you know, on whatever drugs I assume he has access to as well versus, yeah, just being. I don't know. I think all of that is kind of in the salad. It's like, yes, he's had everything handed to him. He's benefited from the most extreme privilege you could imagine. Uh, You know, he's been scooted through all of his schooling up till now via money. And, you know, certainly he can afford to hang and get wasted all day. So I feel like it is all those things. It's like, you know, truly a person who's just never, ever been challenged, really, and who had the means to. Yeah, I mean, this level of analysis is more than I think the movie is begging for. (laughs) Like, like on paper, the the concept of someone who's a man-child who has a responsibility that they have to live up to and have to go back to school to to reteach them what it means to to be mature. Like, on paper, that simple concept, I think, is cool. I like it. I think it was just the way that it was executed that didn't work entirely for me. This feels really... Of of a lot of movies... Not every Adam Sandler movie feels to me like a live action cartoon, uh, but this one really, really did feel like I was watching something that was like inspired by cartoon energy. Because like every time, like I, I genuinely got a kick out of in a sort of meta kind of way because it's just so on the no. Every time you cut to Bradley Whitford, he's just in his office sniveling, being like, turning his head dramatically like, I gotta, I must find a way to end him, you know? <laughs> uh, and, and like that, you know, was silly in a way that, that yeah, like charmed me at least. And then, you know, you get the endearing bits where like he's actually warming up to some of the kids and there, there are enough, I guess what I enjoyed about this experience was partly that there were enough of these moments that, we're able to sort of dangle in this weird in between space of like, I get what the joke is, but I also can't tell if this was in the script or if this was just some random thrown out there bit that someone decided to do. And then they committed to it. And then there are these moments where, and beats where they decide to like be thoughtful real quick. Like when everyone's, I don't know why, when everyone's going into the decathlon uh, and you just hold on that shot of the high school administrator guy with the wife just standing there as everybody walks in just kind of like you know looking like he's kind of looking forward to this and hopeful and i'm just like this is such a weird beat to include (laughs) you know (laughs) and it's just like it's just a weird little character thing and uh and yeah you have darren mcgavin is his name as the dad who you know just kind of like neat to see him and like the they did a good enough job selling me at the right times of like, why would he even agree to this weird little wager? But the way the actual, like I kind of forgotten about the hook of the movie until it came up. And I feel like they handled that gradually enough where Billy comes up with the idea and it's sort of the first spark of him taking any kind of initiative towards anything when he's like, Hey, if I can go through and I can pass all these courses, you know, maybe then I can inherit the company. And then, you know, going for that ending of like, ah, he doesn't even really want that. We all know. Uh, it's just that this guy's such a jerk that he shouldn't have it. Um, so yeah, I mean, like, I don't know exactly at this moment where I would rank it in terms of Sandler's because I feel like the spectrum has gone from like, some of them feel like more of a, you know, 
quintessential like some of the ones we've watched seem like they're also trying to pitch Sandler as like a leading man for a more direct romantic comedy or something like that whereas this is full on like SNL wild character man stuff and so you know I again for that level of energy this is kind of like the thing I think about from back in the day when I would think about what I might be repelled by from Adam Sandler because it is so predicated on mugging. It's just like lots and lots of mugging. And like it definitely took me a minute to start enjoying everything that was happening. But I I guess I was always amused by how off center I felt almost immediately and at all times. This is the <laughs> like first off time, balance I felt. This is the first time we watched Adam Sandler movie. And I don't know if this is a really popular movie. I know people grew up on this. It's, it's one of the, yeah. So I'd be curious I'm sorry. to see where people rank it among his classics. Yeah, I'm, yeah. So, I'm sorry. I, I I know I can't. I'm not gonna speak for John. I'll speak for myself. I'm sorry that I didn't, I didn't love it, guys. But I will say it felt like somebody didn't tell Adam Sandler no at any point, and they're just like, yeah, do whatever, man. Like it yeah, feels it's like fine. You all it. of the movie was shot around him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then just like that, the 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 finale just felt kind of like. It felt like they were writing the movie as they were filming it, and they're just like, oh, what are we going to do with the finale? All right, he's going to pull out a gun, and then the guy's going to come wrestle, and then the, the guy so who came ridiculous. is going to shoot him, even though he's going to, he originally wanted to kill Adam Sandler. And I was like, what is going on? I mean, granted, it was funny. It was like, it was it's, wild. It's weird and it wild. But it felt like off the cuff as hell. Yeah, and the way, and, and I mean, I got a kick out of it, but the way certain characters are reacting to that versus others is kind of silly and and. and Again, in the madcap wildness of the rest of the it's that thing where every moment feels like a spontaneous decision. <laughs> and so, like, the reactions to that are are fitting. It's like he pulls out the gun and it feels just like, I don't know. And, and then this happens next. Maybe it wasn't even in the script. I'm sure that was in the script, but it didn't feel like a moment that was quite essentially <laughs> in the script. So you have like the guy moderating who looks kind of fine the whole time. And then you've got Sandler who only takes it seriously when he actually cocks the gun. Mm -hmm. And it's a really big, exaggerated, you know, like dirty, hairy looking gun for his dirty, hairy ass haircut, <laughs> you know? Uh, and, and just like, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It, uh, it's one of those movies where I think the lines are are less defined between like, I feel like some of these have Adam Sandler as the big eccentric character and then everyone else is around him reacting and whatnot. And certainly there are broader characters. His friends are usually broader. Um, and here, like I, I, I was kind of tickled by the fact that again, we cut back to Norm Macdonald and the other guy, you know, or we cut back to certain characters, like literally just for like, here's a quick comic strip of these two. And then we're moving on, you know, like, so, yeah, it felt like reading comic strips or it felt like like watching cartoons or something like that. Uh, Josh Mustel, the guy who played uh, uh, Principal Anderson, who was also in Big Daddy, like I thought he had a nice, you know, like I appreciate his presence as like a character actor. Like everyone's bringing a different level of like earnestness to these roles, except for maybe a Sandler who is like, again, going off the charts mugging. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, I feel like we ultimately like had a similar experience reacting to similar stimuli. And then it's just a matter of like, for me, it, it was so blunt force and just so much that like, even the stuff that was not funny took on some kind of, it just added to the absurdity for me. So I got swept up in that. I feel like the, the absurdity. And I think Andrew, Gor Andrew Gordon was just here shooting before uh, we shot this. And he mentioned like, you know, something offhand that I didn't really consider at the time. He was like, you know, it's got a really absurd, sense of humor and uh, I see that now very clearly Buscemi though MVP love Buscemi. that bit we just saw him in, in something else in, in what we were watching I won't spoil it in case that video is not out yet but we just saw him in something else where he is again kind of separate separated a bit from the main cast and he's just always so dedicated like he always you shows and no me and Andrew watched oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, something a little bit more action oriented but uh, yeah he, he's just always so committed and like there's something about him where like even in these earlier movies and these more comedic movies I see him and I'm like man that guy's special <laughs> he's he got is. a special presence he's very um, diverse he's very special so yeah this was this was wild and bonkers and uh, and I don't know how I would like critically assess it but uh, I certainly laughed a lot I, I, I enjoyed the ride. This is a movie where I would say I enjoyed the ride. I, I, I'll have to go back and think some more on how I feel about it as just an actual movie. <laughs> I laughed. I was perplexed. And I don't regret watching it. And I nope. was never bored. Nope.
There you and go. As those are as put those, on the poster. Yeah, exactly. For this kind of movie, uh, it could have gone much worse, <laughs> you know, because uh, if this kind of movie was either boring or like you, this could easily become grating and mm-hmm. tedious. And uh, and thankfully, I don't think we dip too far for me into that. But again, I would I say get, it went by really fast. It was very fast paced. Definitely. And uh, and hey, we'll do a little trivia before we hop on out of here, because uh, big props to Chris Farley. It was fun to see him in, in something like this from the era of his heyday again. Chris Farley. Um, during the school bus scene, Chris Farley turning bright red in <laughs> aggravation was improvised, according to Sandler in I Am Chris Farley 2015. Chris, before every scene, would chug entire cups of espressos to maintain his trademark manic energy, a thing he would do in pretty much every movie since. Oh my God. Oh my God, poor guy. I, I <laughs> That's a lot. A R. cup R. of espresso? Oh. Cup? oh, here's a good one. Adam Sandler said of the title character, Billy's the closest I've come to playing myself. <laughs> that's lovely. Okay. That's, that's beautiful. During the dodgeball scene, Adam Sandler hit kids with the dodgeball as hard as he possibly could. I, yeah. The editor had to cut away after each hit so that he didn't show the children crying. What? I, yeah. What? It looked hard. It looked like he was hitting him really hard. Why? I was like, oh, okay. I don't think oh. they get away with that today, but Jesus Christ. I thought they would have like slightly undercranked that or something. Like, I'm no, sure he, he would have hit them. Ham on those kids, I'm sure dude. he would have hit them good, but not hard enough for crying. Of course. He was wow. hitting them in the back, in the stomach, in the head. Wow. I wonder what days on set during this were like. That was a real. Bradley Their Whitford. parents agreed to this. So, hey. You know, I guess if that's the worst thing your parents agreed to dubiously for you in Hollywood, maybe you got off easy. Uh, Bradley Whitford <laughs> never actually saw the film after it was released, but according to his brother, people would often shout business ethics, a reference to the scene where his character is challenged. What did you and watch? that was a scene I thought was very funny because obviously it's dumb. It's right in your face. And he, <laughs> he's so unethical. He can't even bullshit he's about so business e- business ethics. Thing. He's yeah. so nervous about it. He's going to shit his pants. <laughs> Can't He's do just it. stammering. There's nothing to say. Uh, <laughs> Norm MacDonald was drunk in the scene where his character is wasted. Okay. That's great. That's just called method acting. That's yes, what we sir. like to see. That's what we like to see. Uh, when Billy Madison apologized to Danny McGrath for being mean to him in high school, Danny crossed Billy's name off the kill list. The other eight people left are all crew members of the movie. I thought that <laughs> might be the case. Um, Oh, good. Oh, good. Here's one about that scene in the uh, the decathlon and his famous insult that the academic decathlon judge gives to Billy after giving his speech. He tells him everyone, quote, in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. At Saturday Night Live, Jim Downey would often say to Chris Farley, uh, say that to Chris Farley whenever he pitched sketches in a writer's meeting. Oh, my God. Hell yeah. And this also confirms, though he co-wrote the script, Adam Sandler also ad-libbed a lot of his performance. Director Tamara Davis said it was important to let Adam be Adam, and I think that absolutely comes across uh, in this. Um, And uh, let's see, Tamara Davis was not actually the original director either, which is interesting. Uh, Stephen Kessler whom the studio had hired at Sandler's request originally began the film, but after three days on set, he was fired for having uh, trouble getting good comedic material out of Sandler and oh running God. behind schedule. They Ooh. brought in uh, Universal, brought in Davis after they liked her work on previous films she did with them. Uh, the Chris Rock comedy CB4 from 1993. When she took over, she brought her own DP, but the most of the original uh, crew remained. One scene not directed by Davis was the exposition scene in which Billy attending a new grade every two weeks was discussed. Damn. So like a pivotal moment in the movie. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. Charles Bronson turned down the role of Billy Madison's <laughs> father, which uh, that, that would just be, uh, that just have been funny to see because it'd be a totally different vibe. <laughs> um, well, all right. Gang, Alrighty. gang, gang, and gang, and gang. I guess to close it out, yes, uh, to I was being I couldn't I don't, I don't know if you could tell I was being sarcastic before the romance did come right out of nowhere. <laughs> they, they literally do just go like she likes him now, <laughs> you know. They, right. She spent a day with him, so now she likes him. But you know what? Uh, props to Bridget Wilson. I feel like we would have seen her a lot during this era as well, and uh, she was quite charming as the romantic lead. She was Sonya Blade in the nineteen ninety five. Mortal Kombat. And she voiced her in Mortal Kombat 11, too. 
dude, look at that. See, that the and they were talking in. about Mortal Kombat in the movie. The kids were talking about Mortal Kombat in that one scene. Easter egg for you guys. Anyway, why did you think Juanita was the best character? Leave your comments down below. Uh, leave us your thoughts on the movie where you would rank this among the other Adam Sandlers uh, in the Pantheon. And uh, yeah, any other thoughts you might have? What's your favorite scene in the movie? Every one of these questions I want answered. In fact, answer some of the questions from the classroom sequences. Whatever you got, we'll check it out and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Much love, party people. Cheers. Gabriel. Hey, bud. Gabriel. Sometimes I just say people's names and then I go, something's going to come out of my brain and that's I'm going right. to nail it. It's going to be the best. And that's what's happening right Gabriel, now. Gabriel, get I had ready. Nothing prepared this for you month, before going in. May 2024. But once I started talking, oh, I was like, it's going to come out of me. Shout out, you're about I'm to receive. speak from the heart. I and can't then, even begin to describe it. Words he are going to be vomiting. About out what of his inspirations were before just, he was going to say your I name. I had to write it down you know, in a note pad. It, but he was like, hey, I, was I like, want to at least come in with some intentions thoughts. about what to say. I locked about myself Gabriel in a room based on all the things he I didn't know jar about. jar bottles him. the entire and time. And then I and started to weep. It had to be like decoded. I grew a long beard, long hair. Because I was just so It was just scribed all over the world. It was like there was numbers involved. I felt just to get hearing about an astrologist involved, you. we had to get a mathematician. So, I mean, <laughs> and they were like, "We don't quite understand what it right means." You're gonna Bam, see, hot like, young leading lady. She had an aha moment because she said, "Wait a moment!" What she did was she had a she had a cup of morsels. coffee. She put it down. It's gonna be like on, and she's like, "What?" And then she you're moved it. Whole crush. She's like, "I get it." And they're like, "What do you mean?" And they're like, "Give me a minute." Bam, one single figured out, and then you're gonna shout out what was. Life is and all that's about. what this shout that's out what is. That's what this shout out is. Coming at you. Coming at you right now.